Hi beautiful family and welcome to, to my video. Now I'm playing a lot today with the Tati Beauty palette glitters. They look so stunning. I have glitter everywhere. On my clothes, on my face, in my hair. The glitter is everywhere, but it's stunning. I really like it. I'm going to review their palette on my channel soon. I just want to play with it more and create more makeup looks. But here we are today to talk about my empties. So if you want to know what products I've used of these two mats, then please keep on watching. Okay. Uh, sponges. I go through these very fast. And uh, this is the microfiber sponge uh, or two. This one is also something strange. I already reviewed this on my channel and this is an elf. This one I do like. The size is kind of strange, but I do like this sponge. These two I do not like. I've reviewed these on my channel before. I do not like them. The, the ones that I do recommend is the uh, Nikia Joyce. They really, really enjoy. Those I will definitely um, recommend. But also something new that I just tried is the InStylish sponges that I really really like. These are very affordable. This is one that I've used and it expands a lot. It gets huge. I really love it. It's very soft. Also one of the best sponges I've ever tried. These I do not recommend. I'm going to throw them away. Um, so if you use my code you can save 10% uh, from your first purchase from in stylish on stylish website. So don't I'm going to put information down below and also link the video where I tried that sponge out up here so you can check it out. But let's go back to the products I've used up that I do like. This is the Garlic Vatican Natural Deep Conditioner Hair Mask. Sounds weird, garlic, but this one is the second one I've used up. And if you follow me on my channel, you know that I love hair masks and I try many. This, I already emptied one of these a couple of months ago and I also have that on my channel. This one is the second one. I really, really enjoy this mask. I really like it. This is uh, made with the finest hand-picked garlic from Spain. Vatica Garlic Deep Conditioner Hair Mask helps fortify, re revitalize and repair your hair, helping you re re rediscover natural, healthy looking hair with regular use. I use it every time I wash my hair. Love this mask. Definitely going to repurchase again. Uh, it's affordable. I think I paid around $18. I'm not really sure for this size, but it's not expensive. And I really like this hair mask. And I wanted to have it in one of my giveaways, but do you want to see this in a giveaway? Because this weights a lot. Do you want to see this? Let me know down below. Maybe I will uh, buy a couple of them and have it like a giveaway maybe. Let me know down below if you want that. I'm considering. The next thing I've used up is this Hello Beauty Booster, hair skin nail booster that I already, I already have one more here. I'm not going to take it out. I, I, I used these every month and definitely going to continue using. It this saved my hair. I talk about this in every of my empties, so I'm not going to repeat myself again, but I do like and do recommend Hello Beauty. It is expensive. I think it's a high price for vitamins, but I think it's worth it. So I do like it. The only side for me that I don't like is that I had to pay a lot of taxes and shipping costs. Another product that I really like is Nivea, Nivea Caring Shower Silk Muse Soft Cream Extra Silky Skin Almond Oil. If you haven't tried the um, uh, shower mousse, you need to. You need to try shower mousse. Now, I tried a couple of them. I think I tried from Rituals that I also like, but one of my favorites is this one. This one I paid from Dollar Store. The price is almost gone. This is from Dollar Store, 20 Swedish crowns. It's around $2. One of the best, best showering um, mousses. I really like this. It makes my skin feel fresh, feel nice, feel soft, smell very good. I like it definitely going to repurchase many of these. I just picked one to try it out and I really really was enjoying it so I regret did regret that I didn't purchase more so I am going to do so because I do like this. 
then we have another hair mask that I tried out. out. Uh, this one, this is Briogeo Don't uh, Despair Repair Deep Conditioner Mask. I do like this. I already used one of these uh, before and definitely going to repurchase. So I do like it. I think it's a good one. Do I feel like it's better than the garlic one? I don't know, actually. I have to say that I really don't know. I think it's good. But... And I do, I am going to repurchase it. Um, but I, I think it's good. I think it's a very good mask and definitely going to repurchase. I love hair masks, so can never have it enough. <laughs> this one from Keraste, Resistant Masque Extensionist Creatine R and Acid Malik. I don't know if I pronounce this right. This is also a, like a mask. Oh my god, this was standing in my was in my bathroom for months and I first started using it and then I stopped using it and I went back to it after I um, used up those two hair masks and this is a good hair mask but it's nothing that I'm going to repurchase actually. I mean it does smell good, it does smell nice. The only thing I don't like about this, you know when you use a hair mask and you, clean, you wash your hair and rinse it off and it feels silky and soft and you dry your hair and then you towel dry your hair and you want to comb it through. This feels like I didn't use this mask after I uh, used the towel, uh, which I didn't feel with other masks. It's, my hair still felt very nice and soft. It was easy to comb through. This really didn't help a lot. I don't know if it, my hair didn't like it. I do, do love this brand. If you watch my videos and my empties, you know that I love their shampoos and conditioners. And this is one of my favorite brands ever for the hair. Keraste. I love, love, love this brand and their product. But this certain product really didn't do uh, magic for my hair as I would like it to. Let's be... Um, true here and honest here let's be honest here it didn't do magic which i expected of course so but i don't hate it i do like it but I'm definitely not going to repurchase purchase it the garlic one is cheaper and does a better job use this one and use this one Go, uh, garnier skin active mineral cleansing water and also bioderma uh, cleansing water makeup remover which one is better? I actually don't know. I think both of them are good. This one make, did make me break out a little bit. This one didn't, but this one also removed makeup a little bit better, better than this one. But I like both of them. I mean, I'm not hating them. I'm definitely going to um, buy them again. Both of them. I do like them. So, I don't know. I like them a lot. <laughs> Another hair mask. This one I've used up for long, 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 long time ago. And I also did a video about it. Uh, the first impression about it. And I used it up, but I forgot to include it in my empties. And now when I was cleaning my bathroom, bathroom space where I, where I have all of my shampoos, conditioner, hair mask, everything that I have over there, I saw this and I wanted to have it in my empty video this month because many of people are rabi raving about this product and liking this is coco and Eve, like a virgin super nurturing coconut and fig hair mask this my, this one my hair didn't like i don't know if this is some just my hair or something i bought this one i paid a lot for it i paid so much for this and the shipping and the taxes um it wasn't worth the money at all wasn't worth the money at all now this was long time ago since i've used this one uh, of course i used up everything i used every every everything that was in here because i didn't want to uh, throw away i mean it smells good but i wanted this to do magic for my hair i wanted this to make my hair look something totally different that it looks like i don't know how to explain it but this on Instagram, everybody shows pictures before and after and everything looks amazing, smooth and nice. This one, 
I have a video, you can search for it on my channel. You can see results by yourself. This didn't do good stuff on my hair at all. So I didn't like it. I do not recommend it. Will I purchase it? No. Would I use it if I got it? Yes. But would I pay it for myself again? No. No. My hair didn't like it. I mean, it wasn't bad though, but I mean, it's my garlic one is better. So I feel like I'm harsh sometimes when I review my products or re not, my, not my products, but review my empties. Uh, but I'm honest on my channel. I want to give you the real thing, the truth about everything. I'm not hiding every, anything. I'm not uh, getting any stuff. I'm not getting anything from this. My channel is here to tell you what I think about the products, one per person that it's not expert, but use products, beauty products, makeup every day. So in one of my subscription boxes, I don't know which one, I think it's goodie box. I'm not sure. Could also be look fantastic. I'm not sure, but I got this uh, mineral from the secret minerals from the Dead Sea makeup remover wipes. And I love these. These are amazing, but these are expensive. I think they're around twenty dollars. I'm not sure. I know. I I know that I checked it out last month. The price uh, because I wanted to purchase it, but when I saw the price, I was like, no, 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 not yet. Uh, I just felt it was a little bit too much for uh, wipes because you only get twenty five wipes in here, and I definitely use at least two uh, every time I remove my makeup. So no, no. If I get them, yes, but I won't repurchase them. They are too expensive. Then I got uh, this in my, I think this summer I got the, um, I got my glossy box limited edition or was it limited edition? Yes. It was uh, a limited edition box with uh, glossy box and clarins, and I got one of the gel purifying cleansing gel in that box, and I did like this one. I did like this one. I think it did remove my makeup and it did clean my face very nice. So I do recommend it. This one was a good, good product. I do like this. I didn't purchase it, and I can see myself purchasing it, but not now because I do have a lot of. Uh, cleansing gels that I ha got in my my uh, calendars, advent calendars that are opened in my <laughs> on my channel. I have a couple of uh, cleansing gels, so I'm not going to repurchase it. But I can I can see myself buying this one if I needed a new cleansing gel. This one was for all skin types, and I do like it, and I do recommend it. And this is vegan, so it's a good product. Then I got from my friend Kate Somerville, Wrinkle Warrior, 2-in-1 two two Plumping Moisturizer Plus Serum. Uh, this I got from my friend Valerie in a box swap, the, uh, box swap that we did like two months ago, two or three months ago, can't remember. But I got this product and I have been liking it a lot. This was a very good nice product. I didn't look up if this is available in Sweden because I do have a lot of serums to use up here uh, also that I got in my advanced calendars or in my uh, monthly subscription boxes. So I do have a lot of product to use up before I purchase anything new. But this Kate Somerville uh, Wrinkle Wear Warrior was a very good serum and I do, do really like it and I did enjoy it. And I'll definitely look up this brand and also look up how much this one is and maybe purchase it again when I need a new serum. But this one is very good, very good. I do like it. I don't know if you did you try anything from this brand, Kate Somerville. If you did, let me know down below what you think about it. <laughs> but I do like it and I do recommend it. I talked about this one in my last video, so I'm not going to talk about it at a lot on this channel, on this in this video too. But this Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender Solid um, Brush and Sponge Cleanser. This was a very good one. I did purchase the big size that I'm using right now that I like a lot. It's more affordable than this one. So I do like it, but this one is good. I do like it to cleanse. Uh, then I use this Nip and Fab Repair B. I don't know if I talked about this in my last 
empty videos. I think so. I'm not really sure, but I, I, if I did, I'm sorry. If I didn't, uh, I'm going to tell you now. I think this is a good cream. I started using it as a day cream during the uh, winter last year, and it was last winter. It was very good, but then uh, also in the spring. But then at the summer, I felt like it was a little bit too heavy for uh, the day. And then I start using it at night and I do do really like it. Would I repurchase it? Uh, maybe. I don't think I would. I mean, it's a good one, but it's there is others that I prefer a little bit more. But um, I think Nipapad has some amazing products. So definitely check out more from their brand. But this, wasn't, this one wasn't bad, but it wasn't either my favorite. So more products. Uh, I also have this Essence Tropical Hand Mousse Intensive Hand Care that I got in my calendar from Essence. I love it. This is a hand cream that it's like a mousse, which is interesting. I haven't seen this before. Uh, this is the first time experience using this hand cream, um, using this mousse as a hand cream. This is a very good hand cream goes into the skin very fast, is absorbs very fast, leaves the hands very soft, smells very nice. I really like the hand cream, but it sounds a lot. So I didn't want to use it when I, my husband was sleeping already because I, once I, I did use it once and I woke him up. Can you hear it? There is still some product. I didn't know about that. It's not a bad product. It's very good, but it sounds a lot. It's very a loud product, so. but I do like it and I can see myself repurchasing it. I will definitely check out if they have more scents, but this one was very good. And the last product that I've used up, this is Prep and Matte Lancome um, Makeup Primer. I don't know if I had reviewed this uh, last time in one of my, in my empty videos. I talked about this a lot on my channel. I really like this Prep and Matte Lancome Primer. It's a very good primer, keeps my face very seal, very nice and also keeps my oil in control. I do like it, but it's very expensive. I don't think I will repurchase it because I do like the other primers a little bit more. One of my holy grail is now the Hourglass that I repurchased that I do, do really like. I also like the Cover FX uh, gripping primer and also one that is very good is the Milk Hydro primer, also very good. But this product, it's not bad, but it's definitely too expensive to repurchase. So guys, I think that was everything. I will definitely include other products. I always find other products that I used up, but I didn't include in this video. If I do find them, I'll put it in the next video, but guys, Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down below what product did you use up this month and what which product do you like or don't like. Let me know down below which one do you recommend and which one you recommend not to buy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.